So my mom and I are practicing, right? But like I said, I wasn't ready. I wasn't mentally prepared to handle this kind of stress. So I'm getting all my words wrong and my mom wasn't looking too happy about it. So I start breaking down because I'm thinking, God, oh man, she really gonna beat my ass. So there's this other animator here on YouTube named James, but he goes by the odd ones out. And he recently did a video called My Horrible Spelling. And in it, he talks about how much he sucked at spelling as a kid. And because of that, he was given easier tests than the rest of the class and was also put into some special needs class where he got extra attention so that he could get better at spelling and reading. And I'm sitting there listening to his story and I'm just like, bitch, what? Because here's the thing. I also sucked at spelling as a kid, okay? But, uh, ha. <laughs> That's not how that shit went for me, man. Like James, I was also terrible at spelling at the elementary school level. I'd have weekly spelling tests and I would religiously fail every test. And I mean terribly, okay? Like two out of 10 on a good day. And just like James's parents obviously were, my parents also cared about how I was performing in school. But unlike James's parents, my parents were, how do you say, uh, oh yes, black and not just any kind of black okay caribbean black so what does that mean don it means ain't no black caribbean parent worth their salt gonna let some lady from school tell them that their kid is special needs okay now listen i ain't trying to bag on special needs kids okay just because you're special needs doesn't mean you're stupid the odd ones out for instance very smart dude but thinks he probably has dyslexia a very real condition that makes reading and spelling very hard it has nothing to do with how intelligent you are but uh that shit don't work in Jamaica, man, where I'm from. That's just not the culture over there. In Jamaica, special needs pretty much means retired. <laughs> handicapped. <coughs> handicapped, sorry. At least that's how it was when I was a kid. If you didn't have like an obvious mental disability like severe autism or Down syndrome or something like that, if you weren't doing well in school, as far as the average black Caribbean parent is concerned, you's just being lazy. You're not trying hard enough. Ain't no ADHD or dyslexia in Jamaica. If you even say the word dyslexia to a Jamaican parent, they're just gonna say bless you. Followed by cover your mouth when you sneeze, you nasty ass mother so this begs the question how then were my parents going to get me to go from failing every test to getting the minimum grade requirement for any caribbean household which is a hundred percent well my dad being a truly brilliant man came up with a very effective technique he would beat me <laughs> yeah he would uh he would beat me for bad spelling grades. Now, listen, my dad is a great man, all right? And a great father. I don't want y'all thinking he was like abusing me or whatever. See, there's there's an art to beating your child, okay? And my dad was a young Picasso with the belt. My dad spanked me with the same approach that a circus ringleader trains a lion with a whip. It's more about the fear of the belt itself and not actually the pain of being hit. He wasn't leaving bruises or any crazy shit like that, okay? But. I digress. The arrangement went like this. Every time I took a spelling test, for every word that I got wrong, I would get one lick. A lick is basically when you hold your hand out and get slapped in your palm with a belt. Now, even though I can say today that I don't believe I was ever abused as a child, back then, my perspective was a little different. At the time, I was extremely traumatized by the whole ordeal, okay? There was this one moment in particular that is permanently seared into my brain. All right, check this out. So my mom and dad were divorced, right? And they weren't all that good at communicating with each other, obviously, <laughs> thus the divorce. So my mom didn't know that my dad had employed this negative reinforcement technique to make me a better speller. So one Saturday morning, after a couple weeks of getting my ass beat for spelling tests, my mom ambushes me while I'm watching my Saturday morning cartoons. I'm sitting there, right? Straight, chilling, eating my Fruity Loops. Not Fruit Loops, Fruity Loops. Off brand. I'm watching like Ed, Ed, and Eddie or something, right? 
my mom comes up to me and is like, okay, Chris, go get your spelling book. It's time to practice your words. I'm like, what? what? Mom, no, 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 not, not right now. Because I wasn't ready. My mom had never practiced my words with me. It was always my dad. So she caught me off guard. My mom's like, Chris, go get your spelling book, okay? I'm not going to ask you again. So I go get my spelling book with all my words, all right? My mom and I begin to practice. So my mom and I are practicing, all right? But like I said, I wasn't ready. I wasn't mentally prepared to handle this kind of stress so i'm getting all my words wrong and my mom wasn't looking too happy about it so i start breaking down because i'm thinking god oh man she really gonna beat my ass now my mom ain't the type of woman to spank her kids for something like that but i'm thinking that my mom and my dad were still on the same team at least when it came to this shit. so i'm crying right and my mom's getting mad because she thinks i'm crying for no reason she didn't know that my dad had been training me like a circus lion but of course i'm her little baby all right so she looks at me and says chris okay this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna do one more word okay if you get this word right, we'll stop. So now I'm like, okay, 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 okay. She says, spell away. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh. No, son, sound it out for mommy, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. Listen, a way. <laughs> okay. E. <laughs> you see at this point it's too late it's too late i was already too worked up to spell properly i couldn't think so my mom's like chris look you can do this spell a i'm like <sighs> a she's like good good see now now spell way i'm like <sighs> w w uh-huh a uh-huh why she's like yes baby see look now spell a way oh, i can't do it <laughs> why are you doing this to me mommy why are you doing this <laughs> I'm an idiot. I start bawling, man. I can't even get words out. My mom's like, why are you crying so much? But I can't even tell my dad because I'm crying too much to even use words, dog. So then she closes the book and hugs me and says we don't have to do any more spelling. So yeah, that happened. But uh, my dad would still beat my ass bad spelling grade. So yeah, I don't think my mom ever found out. But I tell you what, it worked. <laughs> Because by the end of the year, boy, I was getting a hundred on every spelling test. If I had dyslexia as a kid like James, my dad beat that junk out of me, man. Hit my ass so many times, letters started lining up and words started making sense. And yeah, that's how my dad fixed my spelling. Moral of the story. I don't really know for this one, guys. Uh, eventually, you get too big for your parents to keep beating your ass. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. But yeah. Mm. Have, have a good day. Big shout out to the best squad on the internet, man. The Saw Squad. It's your boy, Young Don, the Saw Squad. Today's winner of their very own signed YDSG poster is at Podicotti. Congrats, fam. Make sure to check your DMs for more. If you want a chance to win next week, just follow me on Twitter and retweet my pinned tweet. We're almost at that 10K, man. So <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> wrap this it up man let's get let's get me the 10k get me some respect on my twitter name as always i want to thank y'all for your love and support make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video next animation drops sometime next week don't forget to like and comment down below i'll be responding to comments for the whole next hour i love you and i'll see you again next week Leaves, you blowing in the tree. Yeah.